Hi everyone, in this tutorial you will learn to create a full screen scrolling effect for a website using HTML and CSS. As you can see on my computer screen, here if we scroll this website, it will scroll by 100 height. It is very easy to create it using CSS. So keep watching this video till the end. In this folder, I have one HTML file, one CSS file and another folder called images. And here you can see some images that I will be using on the website. You can find these images download link in the description. Next, I will open this file with my code editor, which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure. And this one is the CSS file where I have added margin padding, font family and box sizing. And it is applicable for all the HTML elements in the HTML file. I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML file and CSS file. Next, we will add the code in this body tag. So here we will create one div with the class name container and within this container we will create three other div. So let's create one div with the class name slides and in this one we will add one image. So write image tag images slash file path. It is pick one dot dot png. Then we will add one text in h2. So we have one div in this container. Let's duplicate it. And we will add different text here and different image. It is pick 2 and pick 3. And let me update the text also. So you can use this image text and another image and text and this is the third image and text. Now let me come back and we will add the CSS for this container. So just copy this class name, write it here in CSS file and for this container we will add the width and height which will be 100% and height will also be 100% vh. This is the viewport height then we will have the class name slides. Let's copy this one, write it here. So for this slide, we will add the width, it will be 100% and again height 100vh. This is the full screen height. Then we will add the display. Display will be flex and align item center and justify content center so that we will get the text in the center of this slides and here we will add gap 50 pixel. So we will got 50 pixel space between the image and text so let's change the color color will be white and in the slides we have the image also right side and image so for this image we will add the width now in the slide we will add the background so let me add the background and in this background, we will add the linear gradient color, write linear gradient and color code. After adding this, let me come back to the website and if I refresh this website, here you can see we have the first image and text, then second image and text and third image and text. Let me change the color of each div and we will add the CSS for this. So here we will add dot slides h2 we will increase the font size font size will be 70 pixel and font weight then we will add maximum width it will be 650 pixel now you can see increase font size here after that we have to add different background color in each div so let's come back and here in this first one we will add one class name slide one let's copy and in the second one we will add slide 2 and here we will add slide 3 let's come back to the css file here we will add dot slide 1 so for the first div let's remove this background from here and add it here in the first one
let's duplicate it and this will be slide 2 and slide 3 now we will update the color here so after updating the color code let me come back to the website again and refresh this website so you can see this is the first div then second and third div right now if i scroll this website it is scrolling like a regular scroll we can scroll to any proportion of this website but we need the full screen of scroll so let's come back and in this container that is the parent of this slides here we will add overflow why overflow why will be the scroll then we will add scroll nap type it will be y and mandatory like this and in this slides we will add scroll snap align it will be start after adding this let's come back now if i refresh this website and i scroll it you can see it will scroll by 100 percent this is how you can easily create the full screen scrolling effect on your website using html and css i hope this video is helpful for you so if you want to create a responsive navigation bar you can check this video